Hello everybody, this is Cap of Codaclism, and I would like to welcome you to the second video in my Batch Files tutorial series. So in this video, we're actually going to be doing a little project. Now, you usually don't do projects this early in a tutorial series, but I think it's extremely important to show you guys how useful Batch Files can be. So, at work or at home, you usually do roughly the same things with your system and sometimes these things that you do require you to open multiple web pages and multiple programs and usually they're the same web pages and the same programs so in my case let's say I'm working on a programming project a C++ programming project so we don't want to open these programs and web pages every single time. I mean, that's frustrating and it it takes, you know, time that we could be working on our project just opening up programs. And we don't want to work hard. We want to work smart. So, what we're going to do is we're going to write a batch file that opens all these programs for us so we don't have to worry about it. So, the first thing we're going to do here is do our at echo off. Oh, also do the language to batch. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is use a new command here. It's called the start command, and the start command does exactly what it sounds like it does. It starts a program. So the first thing we're going to do here is say start and then a space and then empty double quotes and I'll explain these in a minute so after that now we need to find the executable file for the program that we want to start so this is pretty easy we can go down to the start button click it and then search for whatever program we're looking for in my case I want to use Firefox so I find Firefox I right click it I go down to properties and by target this is what we're looking for this path here so we're going to control C to copy it and then come up here and paste it so this is going to start Mozilla Firefox so these beginning double quotes here that we left empty are actually expecting a window title but we don't want to give it a window title so we're just leaving it blank so the next thing I'm going to do is add a series of web pages that I wanted to open up. So we're going to do this by putting a space there and then I'm going to add in the MSDN web page for a reference. And then I'm going to add in another C++ reference page. and then I'm going to add in Twitter because you know we need to be distracted and know what's going on in the world outside so next we're going to start or I'm going to start you can put whatever programs you want because you know that's the point of this whole thing but for my use I'm going to start visual whoops Studio. Uh, you know what? Since it's sitting down here, I'm just going to do it this way. Properties. Okay. And then copy and paste. And that's all we need to do for that one. So now let's go ahead and go down here. Start. And let's put clicky charts in there. Properties target control control C sorry control V to copy it and that's all we need with that one here to start and last but not least we want task manager right click it properties copy and paste 
So if you'll note in this one, I didn't use this format that we used here on these other three. That's because the path to task manager doesn't have any spaces in it. And if it doesn't have any spaces in it, you can just say start followed by the path to the exe. So that's something to keep in mind. So let's s save this one. And we're going to save this one to the desktop because we want to be able to easily access it. So let's name it... open stuff just because so we saved it so now what we can do oh also note we didn't put a pause at the end because what we want it to do is open up do what it needs to and then close so that's why we didn't put the pause here so let's X out of that and now all we have to do to open up our programs for our projects or whatever we're working on is double click that and BAM there they all are so if you'll notice here Firefox opened these up in new tabs which in this case is exactly what I wanted it to do if you want it to open each one up in a new window then you can just put it on separate start uh, in separate start commands also this method works starting up and doing going to web pages works in both Firefox and Chrome for some reason on my system anyways Internet Explorer throws a hissy fit but you know it's Internet Explorer so kind of what I expected anyways if you guys like this video like and subscribe to stay up to date on when we publish these tutorial videos and follow us on Twitter uh, I would like to thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one